everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Mike Tyson's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Our self-confidence seems to just come through with each step he takes down to the ring. His adversary, coming out of Woodland, Ghost Dog Scott. Scott. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Boxing 101, jab followed by the straight. Well, standing opposite Tyson is the taller man. And if you are the taller man, how can you apply that to give yourself a chance against Mike? Well, you want to get inside. You want to take that height away. And once you get inside, you understand there's going to be a lot of target there to take advantage of. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Missed that uppercut. Okay. Pay him back. Fine work with the double jab downstairs. Right hand downstairs. Tyson. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Carries that punch intended for the head. Good exchange. He fires back. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if he's gonna live up to that so far, so good. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Scott's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. There's the combo downstairs. Turns over that hook upstairs. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. We count down the final moments of this round. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Scott. End of this round, Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Custom Auto, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. I'll tell you that much. Because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say I'm being overworked. But I think seriously that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. Big shot there. Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. So many people.
people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Blocks that punch. Halfway through this round, Scott's right hand scores well that time. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's gonna move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Look at that combination by Scott. Scott's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Scott's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Well timed by Scott. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Scott being so very effective. Punching in combinations. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Little head hunting with the left. Nice two-punch combo by Scott. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Scott's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A fight! Solid! Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Nice one-two by Scott. <laughs> Solid uppercut. Another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, get up. five, six. Get up, Jimmy. Mike Tyson's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Great work offensively landing that combination by Scott. Tyson's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Trying to
to erode away that body with the combination punching. Scott's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Nice work with the jab on the end. Oh! Tyson's evening could be over soon, folks! Celebrating his opponent unable to beat the count. Yeah.